the magic tools button was removed and all of the features were moved to places that made sense in your editing workflow. First one we're going to talk about is the magic movie wizard. To find a magic movie wizard, you can find that when you open up the program, but you can also just go to the plugins button here. And then you'll see here that you have magic movie wizard. Left click on that. It opens up and you walk through the wizard. Next thing I want to talk about is magic music. So magic music was actually removed from power director a few versions ago, but you can add smart sound to power director. And if you do that, then you will automatically get the magic music functionality added back to power director. And once you do that, then all you need to do is go to plugins, go to media and go to smart sound quick tracks when you click on that it opens up the magic music editor and you can go ahead and do your magic music thing from here um, i think if you don't have it already installed when you do those steps that i just did it actually prompts you to do some uh, updates to get magic music as well so just do that walk through those tips if it doesn't do that when you go through those tips then i will go ahead and share the link to download and install magic music or the smart sound functionality for magic music let's close this out okay so next is magic cut there's a few different ways to get to that if i select a video on my timeline by left clicking on it with my mouse i could go up here to the more features button and when i click on that i get an option that says edit video and when i hover over that then i get the magic cut option here if i click on that it will open up the magic cut functionality for me to use that. The other way that I can get to it is if I left click on a video, I can go to tools and then under tools, you'll see the option for magic cut here. Once again, I can op open it from there. And then the last uh, magic tool to talk about is magic motion. If I select a photo or an image that's on my timeline, I can go to more features. I can then go to edit image. And then when I go to pan and zoom, it actually opens up magic motion. So then I can go ahead and apply the different motions that I want to this image or set of images. So if I close this, the last way to get to magic motion is to select a photo or an image on your timeline, go to tools, and once again, you go to pan and zoom. Now, I want to thank you guys for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.